Hello there everybody what is going on my name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video in this series named as semantic UI and basically we are just gonna be going ahead and seeing what things we need to go ahead and get started now in this series I'm assuming that you know a little bit of HTML actually not a little bit but a proper amount of HTML and even CSS uh, just a uh, just a bit of CSS because you are using this library because you don't know a proper amount of CSS and next thing that you're gonna gonna be needing is a text editor and you know this kind of normal stuff but just the prerequisite knowledge is about HTML5 and CSS and basically you'll be ready to go ahead and create a new web page a brand new website for yourself using this semantic UI so now starting off uh, I just have went ahead and open up opened up this little site of semantic UI and basically I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, you we're gonna be needing some softwares like you know sublime text you can just go ahead and head over to sublime text.com click and download link right over here and download it for any of the versions I already have it downloaded you can see it right over here and basically I just had tried to create a little project right over there but this is not of any use uh, you, you guys just uh, go ahead and ignore it but this is what kind of thing we want and the next thing that we want to do is going ahead and getting to the file explorer and let's just say uh, if you are on Mac you can simply just go ahead and get to the any finder and basically you can create a little folder over there now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder named as semantic UI and basically this is going to be a project that we are going to be working on so you know we are going to be using this project folder all the time and I just want to go ahead and close it out because I don't really need it and then once you go ahead and open up the sublime text just go ahead click on file open folder and then simply just go to that particular folder which you have set up just now and select that folders just so that you know when we go ahead and try and create a new file uh, it will be automatically created right over here like uh, let's just say I want to create an index.html uh, it just goes ahead and creates that file inside that particular folder uh, I'll be showing it to you guys uh, yeah just like this it will be just going ahead and cre creating that file right into that particular folder now the next thing that we want to do while setting up the semantic UI is you want to know how you want to set up the semantic UI because there are literally several ways of doing that you can simply just go ahead and get to the github and download the minified versions of those files or the just download the developer versions of those files and simply use them in inside that particular project but you know that's not exactly the case that you are in sometimes you don't know what is node.js you know don't you don't know about npm and all that stuff well you can simply just go ahead and follow the steps that I'm going to do well uh, if you go ahead and get over to this site you know they have given a uh, a little instructions about how you can set it up on different different sites and you know they, they ask you to use gulp they ask you to use semantic UI by setting up the NPM and basically everything is like that but we don't really need we don't really need anything like that so what we're gonna be doing is uh, just going ahead and typing in here semantic UI CDN and basically once you go ahead and get over there you, you just see this little link over here from cdnjs now when you click on this you know you can get a ton of options right over here now basically why there are so many options over here is because you know semantic UI is folded into different kind of packages like you can see it right over here you might have seen this little uh, sidebar over here because you are already so curious about semantic UI you may see that every single element is different there's button there's container divider and you know everything like that there are tables there is grid there is feed there is accordion there is some input uh, input devices and something everything like that well basically you know even when you install node.js you can uh, simply just go ahead and play this video from askinema uh, well 
they have shown you that you get to choose what kind of libraries do you want and when you choose those libraries you're gonna be going ahead and just getting those particular CSS files that you really need and not the ones that are out of your range so let's just say if you want only the grid system well if you are a complete noob just go ahead don't panic uh, because I'll be showing you guys what exactly we are gonna be doing now you guys can see it right over here he just particularly choosing some th a, few, a few things and he just chose uh, deselected a few things and then it, it just went ahead well basically just like that we are gonna be using only a particular amount of semantic UI files over there so we are gonna be using only these files right over here from uh, semantic UI like you know it's currently in the version 2.2.2 if you don't believe in me you can simply just go ahead and get to their original website and the, the, there's 2.2 version from June 2016 and basically you can see there are two files right over here one of them is semantic.minify.css and one of them is semantic.min.js well basically we are just gonna be going ahead and using these files I'll be making a video tutorial showing you guys how to use it using node.js if you are really advanced user but for the noobs uh, let's just go ahead and keep it simple um, so let's just go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and copy this little CSS file right uh, CSS uh, file path over here and I just want to go ahead and create this HTML file a little bit uh, I guess this one come on head and inside the title I'm gonna be putting in there semantic UI now yeah just a little side note by the way you can use even the brackets editor with Chrome because it supports the live preview and basically you can simply just create it from that but I love this one and uh, let's just go ahead and put this little link over there to that particular folder now if you guys don't know uh, what I just did right over here just go ahead and learn some HTML first and then come back over here to see what exactly I am doing because uh, some of you might be confused hey what is he doing and you'll not be getting this stuff so you can simply just go ahead and head over to some other channels like dev tips and learn a little bit of HTML I'm not gonna be covering how to uh, uh, the basics of the HTML and everything like that but I'm just going to go ahead and getting into the a little serious stuff and uh, let's just go ahead and create in the body well that's it that's your semantic UI file and you can simply just go create everything in here uh, like uh, if you want the buttons we are gonna be needing the UI button element and basically that will go ahead and create the button for you on the page everything like that uh, so we just want to go ahead we just wanted to go ahead and create this little folder I'm just gonna be creating a new uh, h1 file uh, sorry a new h1 tag with my first project okay and I just wanna go ahead and uh, open up this file well if you are using the brackets editor you can just simply just click on that live preview button uh, well as for me you know I had to go ahead and open it up uh, and it is gonna take a little bit of time for loading that particular file well uh, if you guys wonder what exactly is the difference right now well this is the difference alright I just commented out this little part and see how does this file look like and let's just say I, I discommented that I uncommented that uh, whatever you say my English is not that perfect uh, and simply hit F5 you can see how much impact does it give it completely changes the font like I told you back in the weekly web dev show uh, on, on my channel that you know fonts are very important in your uh, HTML file in your web designing so it just goes ahead and changes the fonts to a little bit of uh, sans uh, no uh, yeah uh, sans font uh, sans serif font and uh, that's it that's how you go ahead and create your first file and I'll be creating the next videos very soon I'm sorry for the little bit of late upload guys because you know I have the school and you know, my parents are not allowing me to go ahead and do this stuff but uh, still I, I try to go ahead and keep you uh, keep you guys up uh, keep uploading to you and uh, I'll be meeting you in the next one where we're gonna be talking about
this little stuff right over here named as button uh, button container will be getting over each and everything so don't really worry guys uh, I'll be explaining you each and everything that you need in semantic UI including even in the later stages I'll be explaining to you the less files I'll be explaining to you gulp npm node.js and everything that is required for getting grasping a complete foundation of semantic UI for building your own web apps and if we will be even getting into this theming stuff and everything like that and by the way if you if you heard the little noise over there that's the door smashing I can't really just go ahead and walk over there uh, because I you know I'm just creating the video uh, but I'll be closing that soon. Uh, but anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, Stay awesome. We'll be meeting you in the next one. Thanks. Peace out